Welcome back to another video. Hope you are having a great day. And today to take a look at something which is different from what we have seen so far. This is one of the latest devices from Ori, and this is a HDMI matrix multi viewer switch. So besides some of the capabilities of a matrix, some of the capabilities of a switch, it also has the ability of multi viewer, which means that on one of the displays actually on two, and I will show you how you can accomplish that. We will be able to have the four inputs simultaneously on one display. And of course, we can show different images of the four different inputs on two displays. But if this sounds too confusing, in a few moments, I will share with you how we can use this and how simple it is. And if you are watching this video on your Windows 10 or 11 computer and you still haven't activated and can't even edit your desktop icons, don't forget to check out cdksales.com where we can find budget official OEM keys at an affordable price. And with the coupon code that you can see on screen and down below on the video description, it will get even cheaper. And besides Windows 11 Pro, if you are looking for Windows 10 or even an office suit that we can aggregate directly to our Microsoft account, you can use the same coupon code, which will give you the best price possible at this moment. So just in case, the link will be down below. And now let's take a closer look at the HDMI Matrix Multi Viewer Switch. Now, looking at the unboxing experience as usual on the Ori devices is a simple unboxing, but with everything necessary so that we can just take it out of the box and put it to work. Basically, a plug and play device and it comes with a power adapter, a user guide. If we want to mount it on a cabinet or even on a server rack, we can do so. A lot of possibilities right over here. It also includes some rubber feet that we can put underneath, which is great if we want to put it on a surface and we don't want it to slip. Now, in terms of the connectivity and in terms of the LEDs, at the front, we will have the LEDs for the A output, B output, which will show us the four different inputs that we can select. We also have the infrared receiver, the power LED, and also at the other end, the buttons that we can use to change the inputs that we want to display or even the modes and whatnot, which we will see in just a moment. At the back, there are four HDMI inputs, two HDMI outputs, which will go up to 4K at 30 Hertz, and then the audio output, 3.5 millimeter jack, and also the optical out and a micro USB and a power input with a safety screw. Finally, a power button. And with that in mind, let's take a look on how easy it is to set up and how easy it is to use this HDMI Matrix Multi Viewer Switch. And now with a setup example for the Ore HDMI Matrix Multi Viewer Switch. And as we can see, a really cool multi view on this particular screen with four different devices. I've got a Android TV box here, Android TV box right over here. So if I want to uh, control this one, I can control. And it's the one that I'm using also on screen B. So we can see that I'm changing here and I'm also changing right over here. If I want to control this device, then I can, which is device number two. And then device number three is the uh, Windows computer right over here, which I can control. And then lastly, I've got a Mac OS computer, which we can also control. So we can use any operating system with the system. We can show everything that we want. It will output images up to 4K at 30 Hertz. Now only the output A is able to display the multi view output B, as we will see, will not be able. And this system also has the option for upscale and downscale through the scaler right over here so that we can increase the resolution or lower the resolution according to the device that we are using and according to the display that we are using. But that being said, let's take a look at the interface. We've got the LEDs for the output B and LEDs for the output A. And then we have the option for scaler audio to select if we want to output the audio on the 3.5 or optical and then also the modes and select B, select A. Now, if we press select A, we will change and we will cycle through output or input one, input two, input three and input four. And we will be able to tell that by this LED. If we press the select B, it will cycle through the B. And as we can see, there is a small delay on the B side, but not on the A side. So if we select once again, we will see. But if we select A, it will be instantaneous showing the image, which is really cool. This will always depend also on our display, if it refreshes faster or not. But as we can see, there's always a difference between one and the other. So we are on 
input number four on this display and input number one on this display. So really easy to read the information, really easy to navigate through the inputs that we have. If we want to achieve the multi-view, we just need to press the mode button. It will show me a vertical image. If we press once again, it will show me a horizontal image with the first two, one and two. If I press again, it will show me the four images displayed by the first three right over here, which I can actually control all of them as I want. So I'm controlling this image right over here. I can see everything. And of course, on number one, we have the main image. And then if we press once again, then we will have the multi view, which will show us the four inputs that we have. Now, the other option that we have to control is through the remote control. So I can select output A, which is this one right over here. Output B, which is this display right over here. Then we have the mode, picture in picture, copy, audio, scalar, modify, and then stretch and OSD. So if we want to change output A, I just need to select which one I want and we can change and it's really, really fast as we can see. And then the same for the output B, I can just select number three, for example, it will take a little bit longer. I can select number four, it will take a bit longer than display A. And if I select number one, there we go. Here we have the Android TV box. Now, besides that, we also have the mode available. So I can select exactly what we were selecting right over here. And we also have another option. So if I change the output A for the Windows computer, and if I want to use the picture in picture mode, I can just press picture in picture and I will have my source right over here. So I can select here or here or here, which is really cool. And really cool as well is that if I have these two screens in two different places, like a shop, for example, in two different walls, and I want to copy exactly the same setup that I've got on display A to display B, I just need to press the button that says copy and there we go. At this moment, display B is copying display A. And one of the cool things as well is that if I want to change display A to number one, for example, display B will do a exact copy. And as we could see, no delay at all. So if I change the A, which is what I'm changing right now, what happens is that everything will be displayed right over there. Even if we go right over here and press mode, it will give me the multi view on the same display as well. So in this particular case, using copy mode, what happens is that we will be able to have the multi view on display B as well, not only on the A, but we can't forget that if I change the A, then the B will go along with it. But that is really, really cool. And then lastly, we have these four buttons, the OST that will give us the information that at this moment, my device is outputting 1080 at 60 Hertz. And in terms of audio is outputting 2.1 channel and it's simple as this really easy to use so anyone without even experience on the audio and video industry will be able to set up two individual displays and then use it as we have just seen on the example really simple and awesome and i'm really happy to being able to test it out because we have seen some matrixes we have seen some switches but with the multi-viewer capability this is the first one that being said if you are interested in one of these units i will leave the link down below so that you can check all the specifications prices and availability if the video was helpful don't forget that usual thumbs up right over there which is really appreciated on this side of the screen my name is roberto george and as always i'll see you on the next one